Live look at Capitol Hill in Washington, where debate over impeaching President Trump continues. It is the big story we're covering on this Wednesday afternoon. There it is, the live look. After an all-day hearing yesterday to set the ground rules, members of the House of Representatives now debating articles of impeachment against President Trump on the House floor. Alice Barr joins us live from Washington. And Alice, where are they in that debate, and when could we expect a vote to happen? So Mallory, as you mentioned, we had a, a long round of debate yesterday setting the rules for today. They established six hours of debate. We're now in hour five. So if things stay on track, we should be just about an hour away from the final vote in the House on whether to impeach President Trump. As you know, the House does have a majority of Democrats, so they do have the votes to go ahead with impeachment. But this is the final chance for every representative who wants to to stand up and say where they stand uh, on this question. In fact, we just heard from Arkansas Representative Steve Womack, so let's let you hear what he had to say. History books will tell of this day. It will tell of a purely partisan effort to remove the President of the United States. An effort not built on a high crime or misdemeanor, not on a process in keeping with a high American standard of due process and equal treatment. This effort is rooted only in the governing party's hatred of a man elected president of the United States. Members on the other side of the aisle have been in pursuit of this moment since 2016. They are consumed by it. Earlier in this debate, one of our colleagues referred to our president as a domestic enemy. Our founders warned us about this day. That is why our nation has entrusted the future of the country with the outcome of elections, not the will of a party filled with contempt for a duly elected president. My hope is that when the historians write about this day, it is not written in the context of a nation that lost its way because its elected members chose hateful partisanship over the sacred oath that has protected this great republic since its founding. And I yield back. Gentleman from Arkansas yields. Gentleman from Georgia Reserve. Congressman Womack there really summing up what the Republican argument has been all along, really the argument since day one. Not much has changed in this deeply divided House, but Republicans continuing to insist that President Trump has done nothing wrong and that this is all a, a partisan proceeding that we have seen. On the Democratic side, you have heard the arguments reiterated today about why they believe President Trump has committed these two articles of impeachment, uh, abusing his power and obstruction of Congress in the way that he handled the Ukraine matter in pressuring Ukraine's president to investigate one of his political rivals while withholding military aid. Uh, you know, and you've heard really the weight of history today is very present in the U.S. Capitol. You know, this is just going to be the third time an American president will be impeached, assuming it goes as we expect it will along party lines. So you've heard a lot of reference to that. Uh, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi kicking things off today, saying that we are here to defend democracy. Um, you heard one representative, uh, Joe Kennedy, reading a letter actually to his young children on the House floor explaining to them why he says this has to happen. Um, so, you know, the weight of history very present as we are probably just about an hour away from the final House vote over impeaching President Trump. Mallory, back to you. And Ellis, let's talk about that time. You said you believe they are about an hour away if they are going to stay within that six hours that you mentioned of the debate happening today. Do we know how many representatives are left to speak or do you expect them to stay on that timeline? So what's been interesting is that Republicans could um, put up kind of procedural roadblocks throughout this process. They were allowed to. We saw that this morning when they were preparing to vote on the rules of how things would lay out today. There were a lot of times where Republicans, you know, just tried to shut the whole process down. They could have done that, but we haven't really seen that as the day has gone on. That's what would have derailed things off of the six-hour debate timeline if Republicans had tried to throw out motions to just stop or derail the process. Since they have not done that, we are expecting that it will stick to roughly that six hour debate time frame and that's why we think that we're going to see the vote within about an hour from now Mallory. Alice Barr live in DC. Alice thank you so much we appreciate your coverage and you can also see continuing coverage of the proceedings in Washington right now on your phone just go to KARK.com.